Hello, I'm Bunnery. I'm Brad Mower. And, and this, this is Bio Extra. Extra. So, we hope our American friends had a happy Thanksgiving and not too crazy Black Friday. <laughs> um, we haven't really been um, celebrating anything over here, have well, we? Well, <laughs> neither of those are things here. No, no. But the, the shops try to get Black Friday going, but mm -hmm. people don't really care. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. but you have some news about Black Friday, don't you? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. On the subject of Black Friday, mm -hmm. the store that um, prints our T-shirts and other merchandise and stuff like that mm -hmm. has 15% off for Black Friday. Um, so if you go and check out plaininterference.com slash store, there's a little button that takes you to the merchandise store. So if you wanted to get, well, one of these shirts or, uh, you know, one you that get you've drawn yourself. <laughs> duck mermaid or, uh, I mean, it doesn't even have to be interference. You know, mm -hmm. we've got some rogue drone stuff in there as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, 15% off. Uh, I think that's till Sunday night. Yeah, there yep. you go. Till quiz time. <laughs> on Sunday. Yes, exactly. We should mention it again then. We will. <laughs> okay, what have you been up to this week? Um, so, well, after last week's Android update, um, I, I think it might have caused an issue on some phones. Oh. Um, in the, I haven't had, well, I've only had one bug report, but mm -hmm. it coincided with one that of the happened. compatibility changes that we made. So uh, I'm having a look into that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, in terms of actual updates that are out and available now, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working on things, but we haven't rolled anything out this week. You did do some interference and chill there, didn't you? I did do interference Ooh. and chill on Wednesday. <gasps> you did a beautiful sunset. Well, you mm. see, what I tend to find is, mm. apart from last week when I was just generally rubbish, um, I normally kind of start off like a little bit meh. Uh, you know, I was doing this thing with pancakes and omelettes <laughs> rather, and it was a bit rubbish. And then by the time I get to the last drawing of the stream, I, I'm sometimes in the zone. Mm. And I did... Um, was it a cowboy watching the sunset? Yeah. Uh, and it came out really well. Hopefully, those of you who've played Interference and have seen items in the gallery will know what I mean. But I tried doing the sunset thing that mm. a, a few people do, where basically you sort of draw your sunset and then you kind of scribble over it horizontal lines, like different colours like mm. going down. It looked um, good. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, it looked it really awesome. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my horse looked a little bit weird shaped, but the concept overall was pretty good. I'm very pleased with it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, so, yeah, you can watch a replay of that over on mixer.com slash interference. Uh, also, uh, we do interference and chill almost every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. UK time. I think Ferret might be doing it next week. I'm not sure. Uh, but if you uh, keep an eye either on the Mix channel, just hit follow. Uh, you'll get a notification when we're going live or join our Discord on playinterference.com slash Discord. We have a schedule channel in there where we post whenever something is happening on stream. Cool. Okay, now it's time to find out who won last week's awards. Maybe it was you. Picture of the week this week goes to Sotho for sloth in sheep costume making a call on banana phone. I just love his little sloth face and that fluffy costume. It looks amazing. Well done, Sotho. My favourite description this week was supervillain tuna can with teeth says catchphrase ding dong by Elizabeth Hayes. I love the concept of a supervillain that's actually a tuna can, but also coupled with Leslie Phillips catchphrase ding dong. It's perfect. Nice work, Elizabeth Hayes. Community pick of the week this week goes to CC666 for Rainbow Hurricane. I just love that technique of using the little lines with all the different colours and the shading as well. That's amazing. Well done, CC. They were amazing. Awesome stuff there as always. Cool. Now it's time to see what we were talking about last week in the forums. So last week I was asking you, would you rather the aliens that make first contact with us be robotic or organic? I think I'd be more scared of like robots because they're ruthless, they don't have emotions, you can't like appeal to their better nature. <laughs> if they have a mission they'll go and do it <laughs> and they can go rogue as well. Well yeah but I mean maybe you know maybe they're kind of looking at things with a balanced opinion. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe they've they've turned up uh, looking to obliterate us because we're actually terrible and you know that's the best thing for the universe in general mm. that, that's the worry I mm -hmm. think really the worry yeah. of any kind of alien turning up is they'll be like what are you doing <laughs> I know. Um, yeah but organic ones you think you know it's a bit like war of the worlds they could like catch flu or something and we might be able to wipe them out. <laughs> um, but we had a couple of uh, people 
with opinions on that, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Moo Moo Milk said, I'd like to say organic with um, arguments like human compassion, mm -hmm. but I'd probably go with robotic, looking at our own track record for treating groups who are just a little different from us. Yeah. Um, We'd yeah. be horrible to them, wouldn't we, anyway? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, on, on that note, mm -hmm. I feel like um, aliens turning up is probably the only thing that will unify the human race. Mm -hmm. But sure. the downside is it will unify the human race it, because they want to have a war with yeah, the aliens. Somebody else. It's so, somebody else to hate, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yes, uh, Moomoo Milk saying, imagine how much more different these aliens would be from us. How much more technologically advanced they'd be. I just hope our new machine overlords have a goal towards efficiency and nothing else. Um, maybe they find that we have a higher efficient work output when we're happy and content. Mm. <laughs> Feels a bit, a bit matrix, scary though, that, doesn't it? Know, yeah. They'll, yeah, they'll <laughs> stick us all into VR mm. and use us as batteries yeah. or something. Yeah. Now, Dylan said, I wish it was organic aliens with beings similar to us. It'd be nice if we could learn about one another and coexist. Mm. That'd be good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, they also mention uh, robotic aliens, you know, it could mm. be like indestructible machines until yeah. we can devise better equipment to defend ourselves. They're the scariest of Well, mm. although I think Dow Doodle uh, sums it up by saying, I can tell you if the aliens are both organic and robotic with insane technology, etc., we can just give them Earth and flee to the moon or something. Ain't nobody got time for that. I like that. Yes. <laughs> uh, cool. That thread's still in the forums. If you'd like to contribute, just head over to General Discussion. Uh, it was called Would You Rather? Yeah. Okay, now it's time to find out what we're going to be talking about next week. What is your favourite musical? Or what movie would be greatly improved if it was made into a musical? I love The Greatest Showman, but I often wonder if Hamlet could be made a little bit lighter if it was a musical. If you'd like to chime in with that, then just head over to the general discussion forum. It's the pin thread for the week, so you'll find it at the top of the thread list. Okay, and don't forget, tomorrow night is quiz night yet again. Woo! <laughs> Last week, guess what happened? Grinning Goose came back. Ah, yeah. And also, guess what happened? Grinning Goose won. Yes, yeah. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen this before, every week over on our Mixer channel, mixer.com slash interference, we run a live interactive quiz show, Zeitgeist, the Interference Quiz of the Week. Uh, it's all based on uh, drawings from the week's interference games. So Bunnery here uh, picks five of her favourite drawings and then writes some questions themed around them. I do. Do you want to know who this week's artists are? Um, well, yes, go on. I can't tell you. We've got um, Kesh D, Mr DJ, Omniscient Rhino, Pollen and who? Omniscient Ooh. Rhino, that's a cool I name. I like, I yeah. like that name, yeah. So, um, so what we'll have is five rounds mm -hmm. uh, based on drawings by those five uh, artists okay. and then five questions in each. It's all multiple choice. And if you get the question right, we give you some points. Uh, and then we add up all of those points at the end of the round and the end of the quiz overall and have a leaderboard. Mm -hmm. uh, as Brunnery said, Grinning Goose came back for the first time in a few weeks yeah. uh, and won with 253 points. Mm -hmm. uh, Ferret was in second place on 245 and then Dr. Ridout was in third place on 233. Well done to them. It was very close though. Mm. I mean, fourth and fifth place, Gored yeah. and Mr. Tapestry, uh, 231, 230. <gasps> yeah, one point in it. A few points behind, mm. yeah. Mm, good stuff. Yeah, cool. Let's see what happens this week. <laughs> yeah, so if you'd like to join us for that, as I say, it's every Sunday night, 7 p.m. UK time over on mixer.com slash interference. It's all live and interactive, so you get to show off your quiz skills by competing against the rest of the audience. Okay, I think that's all the news for now, so it just goes to say. Yeah, if you're not already taking part in the game, then get involved at playinterference.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at playifx or on Facebook at playinterference. We've also now got a Patreon page at patreon.com slash interference if you want to give us a bit of monthly support for the ongoing maintenance of the game, running the quiz, looking after their cats and all these kind of things. <laughs> we do really appreciate your support. Yeah. Okay, that's it for this week, so we'll see you again next time. Have a great week. We'll see you next Saturday. Bye for Bye. Now.